Asphyxial brain injury is a catastrophic event. It happens right around the time of birth. There is interruption in oxygen supply to the brain and in blood flow to the brain. And it could happen because there is a tight cord around the neck or the placenta has separated prematurely. We have the ability now to intervene and recognize these infants after birth. Within six hours, we initiate hypothermia therapy. We can get the brain to kind of cool off, require less oxygen and heal. Half of these infants are now having completely normal outcomes. We want every single baby to have the best outcome possible. We are part of a large study across the country. The study will recruit 500 babies over three to five years. And in addition to hypothermia, to help boost the protective effect on the brain, we're gonna add a new medication called erythropoietin that we've had for a long time. It's FDA approved, it's safe, it decreases cell death, and it helps with regeneration of the brain. And the other study is whether we put them through the neuromonitoring using the heat maps that we're able to create here at UT Southwestern, we could recognize who need the added therapies, how they're responding to these added therapies in real time. And when they're responding to therapies, you see these areas in red indicating brain flow and brain function are now coupled and synchronized and the infant is more likely to have a better outcome. So it offers a novel way and a paradigm shift when we're looking at neonatal brain injury. Hopefully every one of these infants will have an improved outcome 